Hello learners, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Myself Simran from Team Cloud EML and today we are going to begin with a new SQL interview question and this question was asked by the company Cloudflare. So let's begin. As you always know that we always begin with a warm up question which is a small quiz. So today's quiz is, which SQL constraint do we use to set some value to a field whose value has not been added explicitly? And the options are unique, not null, default, and check. So there is a SQL constraint that we use when while inserting some values, if we miss to add a certain value, then a given value is added. So what is the keyword that is used in such case? So if you know the answer, do put it down in the comment section. But if you don't know the answer, you can watch the video. And at the end of this video, I will be discussing the answer with you. So stay tuned if you want to know this uh, answer. So now let's begin with the main interview question. The question says, write an SQL query to report the sum of all total investment values in 2016 for all the policyholders who, and now we have two conditions over here, who have the same total investment value. TIV stands for total investment value in 2015 as other policyholders and are not located in the same city like any other policyholder. So you want to just report the sum of total investment values in the year 2016 for all the policyholders. And for what policyholders who have the same total investment value in 2015 as other policyholders and are not located in the same city like any other policyholders. So the city should be unique, but the total investment value in 2015 should be same uh, to at least one policyholder. So let's see uh, an example. So this is the table insurance. Uh, this is the schema that is given. You have five columns, which are the policy number, the total investment value in 2015, the total investment value in 2016, and this is in float float. Then you have the latitude and the longitude, which means the geographical area. Okay, the latitude, longitude, which are also in float. And this is the sample input. So we have the policy number of 1, 2, 3, and 4. The total investment value in 2015, which is 10, 20, 10, and 10. Total investment value in 2016, 5, 20, 30, 40. And this is the latitude and the longitude for the policy number 1. So you can see there are different uh, latitudes and longitude present, which represents that the location of the policy holder is different. Yes, now let's see the sample output. You can see the sample output is 45.00. So how does, how did this uh, output come up? Let's see that. So what we had given is that we had to represent or we had to just uh, report the total investment of the uh, in 2016 for which policy holder? For the policy holder who has the same, uh, who has the same, what we can say, the same total investment in 2015, but are located in different city. Okay, so what, uh, what we have been retrieved is, see, uh, the total investment, same total investments are uh, 10, 10, and 10, okay? So you see that the uh, policy number one has the total investment of 10, okay? And the policy number three and four also have total investment as 10. So in this case, we will consider only the policy number one and policy number four. Why? Because the location, the location of policy number one is 10 comma 10, correct? And the location for policy number four, 40 comma 40. The location of policy number three is also 20 comma 20. But you can see the 2020 value 
is also for the policy number two, which means they both are located in the same city. And in the question, we have been given that we are we have to only retrieve the policy holders who are not located in the same city. So that is why we neglect the policy number three. Okay, and we select only the policy number one and four. Why? Because they have the same total investment values or in 2015, which are 10 and 10. And also they are located in the different cities. They don't have any of the policyholder who is present in their city. Because you can see 10, 10, no other policyholder is staying in 10, 10. Also 40, 40, no other policyholder is staying in 40, 40. So that is why we retrieve the policy numbers one and four. And after retrieving what we want to do, we have to find the total investments values in 2016, which means we will add the total investment in 2016, which is 5 and 40. Adding 5 and 40 gives us the output as 45, which is our sample output. Yes, so I hope you have understood the example. And we will be using this same example to solve our problem as well. So let's see how to solve this problem in MySQL Workbench. So for first solving the problem, uh, we will be creating the database and the table as well. So first create the database. Create database. And use database. Like this to run. Okay, so we have created the database. Now it's time to create the table, which is the insurance table that is given in the sample output or the sample input. So this is the code. Let's run this code. I have just used the values that have been given in the sample output or the sample input. Okay, so this is the table that we have, we have created. Now let's look at the first approach to solve this problem. Okay. Uh, I'll simply write down the code and then I'll uh, make you understand that what exactly we have done. So first we will begin with select sum of PV PIV underscore 2016, which is the total investment value in 2016 as the value as this is the column name that we will be giving to the output from insurance table as we all know where 2000 PIV of 2015 because we know that the first condition is that the total investment value of 2015 should be matching with some uh, total investment value of the other policy holders. Okay, total investment value in select We are now comparing this total investment values with some of the values. Let's see what we are comparing with. So select PIV underscore 2015 from insurance. Group by PIV 2015 where count is greater than 1. Having count one greater than one. So now, after we have uh, just selected the total investment value, we also have to check the latitude and longitude. Correct. So, uh, what we will do? We will simply use and. And now we will compare the lat longitude value. So just combine it together using parentheses in. Select lat comma long from insurance. Okay, here also we will use group by to compare. So simply we will group by based on latitude and longitude having the count one as exactly equal to one. 
Okay, first let's check out uh, the output and then we will uh, understand the code. So you see we have got the output as 45 which is the correct output. Now let's see what we have done in this case. Okay, so first what we do is we select the sum, okay, sum of the uh, total investment value in 2016 from the insurance table. First, first condition of ours is to compare the total investment value in 2015 that it should be same as other policyholders. So this can be one or greater than one, correct? So that is why we, we are comparing this by selecting 2000, the TIV 2015 from insurance table, grouping it by the 2015, having count of greater than one. And similarly, we also want to compare that the policyholders are not located in the same city. Okay, so we will be simply uh, seeing that the latitude and longitude is having only one count, which means it, it is a unique value. So we are selecting lat long from insurance group by latitude longitude having the count of this value as only one so after combining these tables we will simply uh, get the t uh, the 2000 tiv and the 2016 the tiv 2016 value as well okay so now let's understand this in uh, in more depth First, we will see the inner queries and then we will see the outer query. Okay, so that will make us you know, more that will make it more easy to understand. Okay, so what the in, first inner query is, we are simply selecting the TIV 2015 from insurance group by TIV 2015 itself. Okay, so let's see what TIV 2015 values are in the first place. These are 10, 20, 10, and 10. Okay, so this is TIV underscore 2015 values, which are uh, simply 10, 20, 10, and 10. So what the inner query does is it simply groups it by the TIV 2015 values. And for having only for those two, uh, 2015 values that have the count greater than one. So after grouping by, what we will get? We will get two groups first, which are 10 and next, which are 20. Correct? This is the new TIV underscore 15. Okay. So it will check whether uh, the count of the values is uh, greater than one or not. Okay. So. If you see, then 10 is present three times, correct? So that is why it will consider only 10. Why? Because 10 is present three times, which is greater than one, but 20 is present only one time, which is not greater than one. So that is why it will consider the TIV value of 2015 as 10. And now the next condition, which is it will join it using and for those values, See, now it will compare latitude and longitude values for which it will select the latitude longitude from insurance. Let's write down the latitude long longitude values as well. The first value is 10, 10, then 20, 20, again 20, 20 and 40, 40. Correct? In this also, it will group it by the latitude and longitude. So after grouping by what values you will get? You will get 10, 10 as the first group, 20, 20 and 20, 20 as the second group and 40, 40 as the third group. And after grouping, it is only considering the values for that are having count as exactly one. So if you see that this 10, 10 and 40, 40 have exactly one values, this doesn't have exactly one value. So it will only consider the latitude and longitude of 10, 10 and 40, 40. And the TIV 
15 value as 10 okay and now it will only check the tiv underscore 16 values for which these conditions are satisfied so if you see in the given data that the conditions that satisfy this are the policy number one and the policy number four for which the tiv 15 values are 10 and the latitude longitude are 10 comma 10 and 40 comma 40. see for the T tiv 16 the ids one and four for this the tiv 16 value is 5 and for this it is 40 and the tiv 15 value is 10 and 10 and the latitude is 10 comma 10 40 comma 40 respectively so that is why it will retrieve the sum of the these values the tiv 2016 values because we are given in the question only that we want to retrieve the sum of the tiv 16 values correct so that is why it will calculate the sum which comes out to be 40 comma 5 which is 45 which is our output correct so i hope you have understood the first approach uh, properly if you haven't understood any part of the approach you can simply ask it uh, in the comment section okay so this was an approach of solving the question and this was the easiest approach if you have any more easy approach than this then you can put it down in the comment section as well okay so keep practicing sql uh, we will be coming up with more interview questions as well okay and now before ending we will see that what is the answer to this question uh, that i've asked uh, before as a warm-up quiz so the answer for this is default because what default keyword does is it specifies a value that suppose in while inserting we forget to add a value to a certain column then default value will simply uh, add whatever value is present in default to the value suppose suppose we have a table okay which suppose has name and country so while creating the table we added the default constraint to the country column that means we added the value country value default country value as india while creating the table okay so whenever we add certain values in this table and if we forget to add country then it will automatically add the value as india okay it will not show any null value but rather it will add the default value which is india so this is the use of the default keyword or the default constraint in sql okay so the answer for this is the default option which is the option three so i hope you have understood the question the sql interview question asked by the company cloudflare okay if you have another solution you can also put it down in the comment section or else you can also ask your doubts if you have any so do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe our channel thank you